Hi everyone, this is Teacher Jane of Teach Talk, where learning is fun and easy. If this is your first time watching our videos, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button so you'll get notified on our next videos. Welcome to Shensha Amazing! Shensha Amazing! Kung saan pag-uusapan natin ang mga science concepts from grade 7 to grade 12. Kasama ang topics in general science, biology, chemistry, physics, and earth science. At dito, Bida Ang Agham! Our topic for today is about metals, metalloids, and non-metals which can be found in our periodic table. This is a periodic table of elements. This table provides the location of the different types of elements along with their information. More than half of the elements are metals, and a few are non-metals. And if you can notice, there is a stair-like structure in the periodic table, and the elements belonging in this stair-like structure are called metalloids. They are intermediates between metals and non-metals. Most metals exist as solid at room temperature, except for mercury, which is in liquid form at room temperature. At bago tayo magpatuloy, have you ever wondered why hydrogen has a special place in the periodic table? It is not a metal, pero bakit siya nasa bandang metal? And why is it not in the non-metals? Trivia talk! Hydrogen is placed in a separate group with a separate color because its properties do not fit any one group. Its physical properties are somewhat similar to helium, but it reacts easily with other elements which is not the same compared to this characteristic of helium which is a noble gas. In chemical reactions, it sometimes reacts as metals do and at other times non-metals do. Kaya special ang place ng hydrogen because it is a very unique element. Today, we are going to talk about metals, metalloids, and non-metals. Ano ba ang metal? Metals are dense, shiny, malleable, ductile, and good conductors of heat and electricity. These properties of metal make them suitable for various kind of objects. They can be made into eyeglasses or high-rise buildings. Examples of metals like aluminum and iron, which have high melting point, are ideal for making pots and pans. And gold and silver, which are malleable metals, are ideal for making bracelets and earrings. They can be rolled, flattened, or hammered into thin sheets without breaking. Then we also have titanium, which is a strong and lightweight metal and a good material for aircraft construction. Next, let's have metalloids have properties that are intermediate between those of metals and non-metals. They are more brittle than metals, but less brittle than non-metallic solids, and they are semiconductors of electricity. Ano ba tong mga metalloids? What elements are known as metalloids? There are six commonly recognized metalloids. We have boron, silicon, germanium, arsenic, antimony, and tellurium. Remember the stair-like structure in the periodic table? Ito yun sila. In this picture, they are the elements in pink color. Kung mapapansin ninyo, they somewhat look like stairs. Other elements which are less frequently classified as metalloids are selenium, polonium, and astatine. Metalloids are commonly used in the industry. In general, they are used to make solar batteries, ceramics, transistors, and some polymers. Example, boron. Boron is used in fireworks, and it is color green when it is burnt. It is one of the most explosive metalloids. Next, we have Silicon in microchips. Silicon finds application in the computer chips 
because it is a semiconductor. Another example is paint. Metalloids can also be used as paint. For example, antimony is used in one of the ingredients in paint. What is the simplest way to identify if an object is a metal and non-metal? Use a magnet! Most metals are magnetic. A magnet can attract metals. Non-metals, on the other hand, are not attracted by magnets. For example, iron, a metal, is attracted to magnets. And oxygen, a non-metal, is not attracted to a magnet. I-define naman natin ngayon kung ano ang non-metals. Non-metals are dull, brittle, poor conductors of heat and electricity, and not attracted by magnets. What are examples of non-metals? We have oxygen. It is the third most abundant element in the universe and makes up nearly 21% of the Earth's atmosphere. And we cannot live without oxygen. Another example is nitrogen. The largest use for nitrogen is for the production of ammonia. Large amounts of ammonia are used to create fertilizers explosives and nitric acid which are necessary for certain organisms para mas makilala natin at mas ma-appreciate natin ang kahalagahan ng mga ito let's take a look at metals and non-metals in our surroundings first we have iron iron is used to build ships cars machines tools and many other things it is considered as the most important metal. Magnesium. Magnesium is both strong and light, which makes it ideal in the manufacture of cell phones, laptops, and cameras. Potassium. Potassium is used in fertilizers, and submarines and spacecrafts have potassium superoxide, which supplies oxygen to the people inside the spacecraft. Next, sodium. Sodium is used in street lights, and it also gives fireworks their yellow color. Those are just some things that you need to know about metals, metalloids, and non-metals. And it's time! Para malaman natin kung may natutunan kayo sa ating discussion, we will have a short quiz. I will give you 3 minutes to answer this quiz. After 3 minutes, we will check if your answers are correct.
Number 1. Hydrogen is a metal. This is false. Hydrogen is a non-metal. It is located near the metal side because it is unique and sometimes it possesses the properties and reacts like metals do. Next, non-metals are poor conductors of electricity. This is true. And metals, on the other hand, are the ones who are good conductors. 3. Most metals repel magnets. What is repel? It means it doesn't attract or it rejects magnets. This is false. In fact, most metals are attracted to magnets. Number 4. Magnesium is used in the manufacture of laptops and cell phones. This is true. Number 5. Oxygen is exhaled during respiration. This is false. Oxygen is inhaled by us, by animals, during respiration. 6. Silicon is a metalloid. This is true. Just remember the stair-like structure and you can see that silicon is included. Number 7. A potassium compound supplies air to astronauts inside the spaceship. This is true. This compound is potassium superoxide. Eight and last number. Sodium is yellow in color when used in fireworks. This is true. That ends our quiz. Let me check your scores by leaving a comment in the comment section below. That ends our Shensha Amazing episode. We hope that you learned something from this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video to your friends so that we can learn together. Bye!